This is going to be a multi-part uh, example where we consider this uh, collection of three, or, sorry, four vectors in R3. Um, so first part of the question is uh, determine whether this collection of, of vectors is a linearly independent set. Um, so we've done that way back in the past, but I want to set this up, be clear about why we're doing what we're doing. So just going back to the definition of linear independence. So that those uh, vectors are linearly independent if the equation C1 times the first vector plus C2 times the second vector Okay, and then you get the idea, C3 times the third one, C4, oops, C4 times the fourth one, equals the zero vector for this vector space, which would just be zero, zero, zero. That's the zero vector in R3. Um, okay, well, so this vector equation would correspond to this augmented matrix where if you imagine we write out the first equation would be 1 times c1 plus 0 times c2 plus 3 times c3 0 times c4 equals 0. And then same thing with our second row, negative 4 c1, 3 c2, negative 5, it's hard to read there, sorry, but negative 5 c3 uh, plus positive 2, but I don't need to write the plus in the augmented matrix. Uh, so what's this? Two, zero. But so it amounts to just putting uh, these vectors as your columns. And I know um, you might remember, so you can go straight to this. But I think it's helpful to know why you're doing that. Um, so the, the reason you set it up this way, so take the vectors, make them columns of a matrix and row reduce, is because you're actually solving this equation. You're determining if there's any um, non-trivial solutions to that equation. So let's see, if we do 4 times row 1 plus row 2 to get a 0 in this position right here. So I'm going to leave row 1 alone for now. Row 2, I'll have 4 plus negative 4, 0 plus 3. This will be 12 plus this will be 7, 0 plus 2, 0 plus 0. Uh, I'm going to also do negative 3 row 1 plus row 3 to get a 0 in this position here. So that'll be negative 3 plus 3, 0 plus negative 1. Uh, let's see, negative 9 plus 0, 0 plus negative 2, and then 0 plus 0. Okay, um, so I would probably do a swap, swap row 1 and row 2. Let me see if you'll be able to see it down here. I think you will. So, um, sorry, I meant row 2 and 3. I think I said 1 and 2. And then, um, if you guys don't mind, to keep this video a little shorter, I'm going to also multiply uh, negative 1 times row 2. So after I swap, so this guy gets swapped up here, I'm going to multiply by negative 1 so that this becomes positive 1, positive 9, positive 2. And then I'll do negative 3 row 2 plus row 3 to get a 0 in this position here. That'll give us 0, uh, let's see, negative 27, so negative 20. Uh, negative uh, 6 plus 2, so negative 4, and then 0 plus 0. Now, one thing about this, um, well, okay. So we see now, here's our pivots, here, here, and here. Uh, there's no pivot in column four. So we definitely have a free variable. And so um, the set is definitely linearly dependent because we're going to have non-trivial solutions. So this thing is linearly dependent, LD. Now that we did all that, 
maybe you remember if there are three entries and we have more than three vectors, then it's guaranteed to be linearly dependent. Because as soon as we set this up, we could have realized I'm going to run out of rows before I run out of columns. So there's guaranteed to be a free variable without even row reducing. We, we could have realized that. And so um, guaranteed to be a free variable, that means there's guaranteed to be non-trivial solutions, uh, which means it's guaranteed to be linearly dependent. Whenever the number of vectors exceeds the number of entries in each um, vector here. However, uh, so I'm going to ask some further questions about um, this collection of vectors. So the row reduction is still useful. So actually, I'm going to write down our reduced matrix up here. Um, let me erase this. So when we set these vectors up as columns and row reduce, we got this matrix, and I may even do one more. I'm going to leave off the, the column of zeros here. Uh, one more step in the row reduction. So if we do, let's say, no, nah, just leave it. Sorry, change my mind again. Okay, so we reduced um, that matrix whose columns are these vectors to this. I'm going to use that moving forward in the next uh, example video.